What is going on, everybody? It is the Misfit Bear, and welcome back to Resident Evil 3. We got ourselves a little reminder from the Resident Evil 2 remake. We just met Kendo, who is the, you know, head of this here gun shop. And I got his little key, but, uh... It's alright, Pumpkin. It's alright. That's a good girl. This is what I was wondering, if they would have a conversation. Although it is, a. Uh, a little short conversation. It's some interaction nonetheless. But like I was saying, he gave us his uh he gave us his key. Unlocks the gate outside of Kendo's shop, granting access to the alleyway. While I'm looking at this stuff, I really should combine this with that. To get that out of the way. And then I should combine this with that, combine this with that, and now we're cooking with bacon. Grease and all. So now, we're gonna go this way by the look of it. And let's use this. So much detail just in a lock. Yep, and I can trash this, of course. I have so much space and I love it. Let me move this up there. Let me move this down here so I got a nice little row of stuff. You're not slick, zombie. That's what I thought. Back up! Get back! Already off to a piss poor start. But you know what? That's fine. He's gonna get this red herb. You know what? Hold on. Ow, wrong gun. No! I you I, I got the wrong gun. I grabbed the wrong gun, that was not my fault. Just to get him to sit down. You know what? Hold on. I think I'm I'm an idiot for doing a run type. Let me toggle that. Because I cannot instinctively hold on to that freaking trigger. That uh, that control stick like that. I just can't do it. Alright, let's see what's in here now. Hey! I have not seen very many of you. I've probably missed a crap ton. Hey! Whoa! Ow! So you want to cover the eye? Is that how it's going to be? You're going to cover the eye to make it harder to get rid of. Okay. I see you. We're not going that way yet. I am hurting and I should not be. I am not bad at games. I promise you I'm not. I'm pretty sure this lockpick is going to be in my inventory for like the whole game. I got some explosive rounds at least. Can can there be a green herb or something somewhere? Raccoon Times, Reader's Column. Dear Editor, I'm writing to you because I'm troubled. Deeply troubled. Anyone who's been a parent knows that Crystal Promenade is the place to take your kids for a trip downtown on Saturdays. And there's no store more popular or harder on a parent's wallet than Toy Uncle. However, I've noticed that on windy days, the big statue above the entrance wobbles like the only thing holding it up is a couple of screws. If that statue's head tumbles loose on a busy day, children will be badly hurt. I've complained to the manager three times now, but he just isn't willing to rectify the situation. Are we supposed to wait for a terrible accident to happen before taking action? No. If heads are going to roll, then let it be the managers. Take that death trap down. Timothy Wiles. 69. Alrighty, let's see where we're gonna limp off to. Well, Nemesis, what you got for me this time? Oh! A rocket launcher? As I've stated. Really? 
Highly excessive. Highly excessive. Run, girl. We do not need any part of that rocket launcher. No part of it. No part of it. Oh, I thought I was dead. Oh, shit. That could have been bad. I could have got squished. Jill, you okay? Carlos, that monster's on my ass again. Yeah, it just Were won't stop. Me? I thought you killed it. So did I. Me too. So did I. Nope. 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 Whoa. I was about to wonder where the hell I was going to go. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm not going to lie. I should have died there. Not going to lie. I should have died there. Shrapnel, concussive force. Yeah, if I wasn't dead or if I wasn't hurt, I'd be deaf for the rest of my life. But at least I know where I'm going. I'm limping, but I'm still going. And the irony is that note was talking about that head up there. I'm pretty sure that's going to play a part in what I have to do. Jill, you there? I think I know how to slow that fucker down. Head back towards the station. And lead him right to you? It's okay. Trust me. All right. Like myself, Carlos must be a man with a plan. So I'm going to let him work. I'm going to let him work. We just have to get over there. Yep, there it goes. Oh, crap. Jill, run, run, run. Mm, that's a bad way to go. Do you take me for a weakling? Run, 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 run. Woo. All right, I made it. Oh. Oh. Okay. Ironic that its momentum stopped it before it crashed through the building. But that's okay. That is okay. Um, so where do I go? Where do I where do I go? I am in the flames. I don't know where I'm going. All I know is there's a ow, crap ton of fire around me. Okay, I'm going that way. All right, he said head back towards the station. Get in there. <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah, I'm, I'm like one hit from being dead, bro. You gotta help me out. You gotta help me out. Ow. I mean, I do have to give, you know, those that made Nemesis some credit. Okay. They clearly thought that these people were so Go. tough Go. that not only did they need to send a super mutant zombie, that he needed a high-grade weaponry in order to be able to defeat us. And it makes sense. Come on. Let's get out Seeing of here. as even with a rocket launcher, he still can't. Uh, Carlos, do you, uh, do you have any herb? I have yet to make an herb joke, and I did that so much in the Resident Evil 2 remake. Carlos, I know we didn't get off to a great start, but thanks for the save. Hey, you saved my ass first. You're a hell of a lot braver than me. Yeah, yeah, you hear that, Nikolai? Wherever you are? What matters is that we can get everyone out of the city now. Yeah, hey, you'll be safe. All of this and the subway what about you? still hasn't even moved Sounds yet. Like I won't be catching the train. Why not? No, there'll be new orders. If it means I can help save the city, 
It's fine by me. You're a good man, Carlos. You're a damn good man. But still, Herb would be a little nice right now. I mean, you see me limping, don't you? Good work. Your reputation is well deserved. Get inside. The subway's about to leave. Carlos, Tyrell, you have your orders. Tyrell? You go back out to right. the city and find Nathaniel Bart. This isn't the last ride out of town, right? Do not worry. Once the civilians are safe, the train will be back. It's all right. You're going ahead. I'm not going to die on you and leave you in a cold, cruel, Carlosless world. Okay. <laughs> Swing and a miss, to buddy. Find this Swing and a miss. This vaccine research could save us all. Mm hmm. She heard that, too. You see? You're learning. The only life that matters is your own. Good luck. Then that would mean Let's even go. your life means nothing to me. And seeing as I dodged a super mutant zombie freak, bro, you got nothing on me. September 29th to 11 a.m. Subway car. You don't really think a pencil pusher like Bart is still alive, do you? I haven't done good authority. Why? Are you worried about teammates? Or something else? Funny how brainless zombies can ambush a platoon like that. Funny the gate was locked. Don't you think? Oh? <laughs> was Nikolai on that dirty dirty? Ah, uh, look at you backing up. How is this fucker not dead yet? Just go. They're gone. Go. Uh, you see how quickly Nikolai backed his ass up? Nikolai, what are you doing? Uh-huh. It's not after you. <laughs> Nikolai! Asshole, man. Oh! Oh! Get off my cage. Shit, bird! Oh, my God. Yo, my dude went out like a G, man. Oh my gosh. Badass moment of the year, man. Whoo! May he rest in peace. 2.34 a.m. RPD Westgate. Oh, it's been a while. Subway's got to be clear of the city by now. Along with your hot date? Nah, but she's not like that. She's not like anybody. Is that freaking uh what's his name from uh from uh um oh what what the heck uh freaking right. I don't remember I don't remember his name but it was from one of those shows where he was like a singer where it was like singing like I think it's was it America's Got Talent? I don't remember, but he used to say, uh, he used to say, I think he Keep used to say, like, dog a lot. This is the place I don't remember his name. You sure? But hey, it's like a cemetery, I'm me. playing, uh, as Carlos. Randy Jackson. He looks like Randy Jackson to me. Like, what gear do I have? Combat knife, G18 handgun. CQBR assault rifle with assault rifle M. Nice. I like it. Let me switch to my handgun because I ain't trying to waste the big ammo. Because knowing me, I will. I will. Right. Stop! T. Come on, man. Now you too. Oh, hey! It's that guy. It's the lieutenant. That's how he got big. That's how he got big. Shit, it's locked. 
That was his last He's moment the door. of uh, humanity. Come get some. That was his last moments of humanity. Was apologizing. Dang, that's got to be rough. Oh my God, he's a tough bastard. That took a lot of shots. ID card, Brad. Damn. Oh, that was Brad. That was that was the Ace Boom Coon. Oh man, from the beginning. Damn. Still worth a damn than Bard's in the Star's office. Let's find him and take him into custody. And here we are. I thought this was a rescue. Back in here. Damn. Carlos, take a look at this. I've located the star's office. Remember, Bard had access to Umbrella's darkest secrets. He knows we'll try to keep him under our thumbs. Yeah, I remember so that. So this search and rescue mission is really more like find and detain. Hmm. <laughs> right. Good to know. I'll open the shutter so you can get through. You stay here and find out what's been going on here at the station. Yep. Call you if I find anything. That's kind of how it is. Hey! Be careful. Yeah. That's kind of how it is. When all you're doing is just following orders, you don't find out about the truth of things. And sometimes it is not what you initially thought it was. Um... Can I use this? I can use that. Assault rifle ammo. What's this? Let me let me read. Okay. ID card security protocols. Each member of the force has been issued an ID card. From now on, the same card will be required to access all storage boxes. Do not lend your card to anyone. Take great care in using it. If your card goes missing, report it lost immediately. So, okay, so I still have Brad's card. I wonder if they will make me, you know, use different cards for different storages. <clears throat> oh boy. Oh, is that the freaking liquor? What the hell was that thing? Is that the freaking liquor? Oh man. If it is, oh no. Everything is all piecing together. I said that's how that dead dude ended up there. That's how he ended up up there. That's how uh the lieutenant got bit. And there are the doors. I wonder if we'll have to find the keys again. Man, so many memories are just coming back to me. From playing the the second Didn't remake. Stick around. Nope, I'm pretty sure it was a liquor. Ah, here we go. Just making sure nothing's down the hallway. Freaking stop leaning, Jesus! Let me take this knife. Slash, 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 slash. Since there are no durability problems. I'm gonna make sure your ass stays dead. There we go. Hey! Oh! Harv, my man! I didn't know you were still in there. You should have went home right. a long time ago, buddy. Big warm RPD welcome. Hell yeah, it is. I'm gonna make sure y'all are freaking dead. I should have been doing that all this time, but I wasn't. I was slacking about it even though I said I should do that. But it's fine. It's fine. I'm making things work. <laughs> but I gotta make sure that I don't lean on the trigger too much with that weapon or I'm gonna I'm gonna burn through a lot of ammo, so I gotta just burst it. Flash grenade. Those come in handy in a good pinch. So I can't go up there now. So I have to go through here. Was that donuts? No, that was a paper. All right, some more ammo. Nice. T, you copy? Locker There's room. something real nasty Cat. in here. I don't know what it is. Something nasty. All right. 
I'll take a look with the cameras. Watch your six. I don't like that. Something's in there. Because, like, why would they put this door? Burst it. Oh my god, there's a lot of you. Sit it down. I'm gonna have to have all of you funnel down one hallway. Do I not have do I have no room to run anywhere? I don't. But at least I don't have to worry about what's behind me. Come on, freaking die already. Now to start cleaning up. Sit it down. Sit it down. Ow! Hey! No! Not my neck meat! Damn it! Ah! My freaking aim is such garbage. You're dead. You you don't have a head anymore. All right, you're dead. Cool. Wait a minute. Now you're dead. <laughs> Had to make sure. I think that was that same dude that was knocking against the uh that was knocking against the vending machine. Like he was in the second remake. Ooh, the safety deposit Shit. room. Oh, damn. I remember the, uh... I remember the shotgun was in... Whoa! I remember the shotgun was in there. I remember there's supposed to be some goodies in here, too. Yes. Give me what's in that. What is that? Oh, it's a scope for the assault rifle. Wow. That was easy to obtain. Not gonna lie. Oh. Split your wig right open. Safe. I don't know where the combination to that safe is. But it would be nice to find it. Red herb, handgun ammo, which I desperately needed, mind you. And let's make sure I'm not missing anything else. If I remember right, that's Leon's desk. September 20th, arrest report. Name, Rodney Gray, occupation, unemployed, former electrician. Charges, unlawful creation and or possession of explosives. Subject was seen behaving suspiciously at 1442 Box Street on September 18th, 1998. Suspect's person was searched, producing a small explosive and a time detonator from his inside pocket, leading to, to uh, arrest on the charges listed above. A search of suspect's home found more than 20 additional homemade explosives at various stages of completion. Suspect was extremely agitated and not of sound mind. Suspect spoke feverishly when questioning began, and at one point, questioning had to be halted due to a sudden bout of shrieking from suspect. Once questioning was resumed, suspect made the following statement. I didn't do it for me. I did it for you. Why doesn't anyone understand? The corpses attack from the shadows. A storm's coming, but this umbrella is no good. Gotta blow it up or you'll be more than just wet. Gotta make more bombs. They're coming soon. Gotta hurry. Burn them. Burn the corpses. Burn them good. During questioning, the suspect began to shake violently before resuming a shrieking fit. Questioning was ended and a sedative was administered. No, due to suspect's unstable psychiatric condition, suspect's testimony changed from moment to moment. Suspect's delirium made any sort of dialogue impossible. We are currently awaiting the results of a doctor's investigation into suspect's condition. The explosives 
can collect it from suspect's person and residents appear to be extremely powerful. As a safety precaution, a battery was removed from one detonation device upon its admission into evidence. The battery was secured in the safety deposit room. Interrogating Officer Wes Drucker. Now, I remember using an explosive in the Resident Evil 2 remake. So, is that where that random explosive came from? Um. Welcome, yeah. Leon. Welcome, Leon. Bet you had a kick ass first day. Not yet! Ah! Fuck! <laughs> Alright, at least he's dead. Because, my god. Half of the ammo that gets unleashed from this gun is wasted. Alright, so... There's a key to that, apparently. Hold on. Can I go this way? Oh, yeah, I did... I came that way. I came from that direction. Oh, I completely forgot this box was here. Shooting cops. Yeah, it really is. But I mean, first aid spray, I need that. But I mean, they weren't in their right mind. I mean, that lieutenant didn't want to shoot his friend and... <sighs> the worst happened. Hence the reason why I said, you know, Nikolai may be an asshole, but he did make a solid point about pulling the trigger. Nine left, 15 right. Uh, seven left. Office supply internal relocation notice. Heat resistant, three number combination safe. Move from star office to west office first floor. The combo is nine is left nine, right 15, left seven. Please change the combo ASAP upon receipt. Okay, so nine, 15, seven. Let's go crack that bad boy open. And seven. Hey, I got a hip pouch. Worth it. The star's office is up ahead. Copy that. I don't remember if it was... Ooh, the men's locker room. I remember there was a... Combination in here. It was C-A-P, right? Note to a friend. Hector, if you're reading this, I'm already dead. If you hear any noises coming from the locker, do not open it, please. While you were out on patrol, I focused on finding a way to get to the other side. I realized that explosives might be our best bet. I managed to rig up a pretty good bomb, but we don't have any batteries for the detonator. I'm pretty sure I sent one to the safety deposit room during intake last week. We need that battery <clears throat> if we're going to knock this wall down. So I headed upstairs to find you since I know you have the safety deposit room key. As soon as I left the shower room, I was attacked. One of them bit me. I washed the wound as best I could, but I feel worse and worse. I hope I don't need to spell out why you must not open the locker. Please don't worry about me. Just get yourself out of here as fast as you can. Your buddy, Wes. P.S. Don't worry about the 600 bucks I lent you. Think of it as a gift towards your upcoming move. Good luck, buddy. Oh, damn. Now one of these lockers is going to have a body in it. Better not. Yeah, it's cap, right? C A P. All right. Okay, just making sure. None of these lockers. Hey, finally found a green herb. Good. So I can combine that with this, and I still have first aid spray as well as another herb. All right, just making sure there ain't no zombies taking a shower. That's where the battery had. Ah! So that's how that wall got blown down. That's how that wall got blown down. I just love seeing all of these tie ins to everything from the last oh, game. Sake. Why is it blocked? Ain't no telling, dude. It could be a number of things. Didn't think so. Zombies just love playing dead, man. They just love playing dead. And I can never understand why. 
Well, I mean, they're freaking zombies, so they probably don't have anything better to do than just lay there. <clears throat> How's my health looking? Caution. I see you over there. There's the key. So this key must be... Hold on a second. Okay, so you're dead. That key must be to that room. Because there's nothing, there's nowhere else for me to go. Oh, God! Oh, no! No! You found me! Oh, God! Come on, asshole! I got a fully automatic weapon this time! And... I got her! Fuck, dude! Reload, Carlos! Reload, Carlos! I can't even freaking move! Just making sure he's dead. Holy shit! That scared the piss out of me! And that... He was just chilling. On the freaking ceiling. He was chilling. Oh, man. Get me up in here, man. Of course. The hell is that flopping noise? Are you over here flopping? I could have sworn I heard a flopping noise. All right, so at least... If I remember right, some of these, there's another herb, so I can combine that with that. There we go. I actually used uh, the first aid spray. I thought I used the, uh, the, um, the red and green herb. So 104 is a battery, 106 is ammo, 109 is a grenade. So let's see what numbers I don't have. I don't have three. So I can do 106. Gives me the ammo. I can do 109. Which gives me the grenade. And there's really nothing in 101, is there? No. There isn't. Well, 101's open. Wait, hold on. It's 104. Yeah, I have the four. Okay, I don't know why I was thinking that uh, that battery, which looks like a Duracell battery, was in a 103. Okay, open this. Give me that battery. Mine now. Open this. Give me that ammo. Open this. Come the papa. Give me that grenade. Resident Evil 2 shotgun or the grenade launcher for Claire's story was going to be in there. Ooh, what's this? DCM. Third floor locker. DCM. Alrighty. I'm going to go and, uh, I'm going to go and see what's behind there. Because I'm kind of curious. DCM. You know what? You can fall from the ceiling if you wanna. That does not mean I have to pay attention to you. It doesn't. I don't even know how you got up there. But if you wanna sit here and horseplay in the workplace, that is on you, buddy. That is on you. D-C-M. All right, give me my prize. Assault rifle ammo. Nice. All right, so now I got the battery. So now we go back into the locker room. And then we blow some shit up. Booyah. Carlos, I've hit a dead end of the terminal here. Gotta head your way. Copy that. Well, at least you don't have to worry about the liquor unless they poof another one. But for now, electronic gadget. Of course, they have to go through the whole nine yards of you combining this with this. And then you uh, do this. You put this back. 
Oh, at least it's a cutscene this time. Aha! Uh -huh. So it was Carlos that blew the wall up. <laughs> One at a time, take the number. I was not expecting that. Was not expecting that at all. Ow. Okay, so I can't go backwards because of the steam. You know what? Hold on a second. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I can't toss a grenade if my life depended on it. Because at that moment, it did. Sit down. Sit down, Tyrell. Or Tyrone. Yeah, it does. My buddy's name is Tyrell. There are so many people in here, man. And I can't tell if any of y'all are dead or alive completely. No! Get off of my ankles! See, that's what I was afraid of! Really? Sit it down. Sit it down. My gosh! Alright, you're dead. Give me that first aid spray. Give me that assault rifle ammo. Anything else in here I can nab. I'm not even concerned with you, man. Let's shoot. This is again. Really? Alright, buddy, let's tango. For real this time. Hey, don't be putting your crotch up in my face! Oh my god! I am trying to deal with the liquor. Do you mind? Okay, it's dead. Now I can focus on you. Everybody wants a piece of Carlos, man. I mean, he's sexy as hell, but come the fuck on. Come the fuck on, man. I am hurting. I'm gonna wait. This is the stars room. Jeez, man. That was... That was crazy. Hell, I remember, I think you get the, uh... I think you get the, the 50 cal pistol in here. Even though I never got it. Dr. Bard. Oh, thank God. Do you know how long I've been trying to reach somebody? Don't worry, we're gonna get you out of there. Just tell me where you are. I'm trapped in a goddamn hospital, surrounded by every kind of abomination. Look, just send in stars. They're gonna know what to do. Now, negative. Uh... RPD's overrun, too. Yep. Then figure it out. Umbrella's gone crazy. They're killing all the researchers. What? I am the only one who knows how to make the vaccine to stop the zombies. So you can either sit there with your dick in your hand or send, send somebody who's capable of getting me the hell out of here. Well then. I like him already. Yeah, you would. You heard what he said. We can't turn him over to the company. Yep. That's not our call to make. That's Mihail's call. Sadly. I'm gonna check the computer, see if I can trace the doc's location. In that line of work... In that line of work, that's pretty much how it is, this man. Take some time. Look around, see if you can find anything useful. That is pretty much how it is. You could know the truth, but you can't... You can't intervene and go past your station. Because it'll be your ass. That is literally how it is. And I feel for anybody who ends up in that kind of position. All right, let's see what we got in here, shall we? Hey, I still have the key card. Uh, Brad, even after you're dead, you're still coming in clutch, buddy. You still got my back. Oh, but I don't, I don't want to trash it, though. Oh, Brad. Oh, I like Brad. <laughs> I mean, Brad, he, he was a soldier, but he was chill and laid back just in a new job. I remember there was a USB 
that went in there. First aid spray. All right, do I have two of those? Well, that's interesting. I can save myself from death a total of three times. What's in here? Nothing. Can I play some darts? There is a red herb right here. Is there anything else I can find? Of course, in here. Up, oh, I see a note. Let's see what this says. Look, look at the note, cool. Report on the mansion incident. This bizarre incident occurred in a mansion owned by the Umbrella Corporation located in the Arklay Mountains. On July 23rd, Star's Bravo team was dispatched to the Arklay Mountains to investigate a series of mysterious and grisly murders and went unexpectedly radio silent. On July 24th, Alpha Team was dispatched as well and became entangled in the events at the nearby mansion. The incident culminated in the destruction of the mansion. Casualties were numerous. The only survivors were five members of STARS. The cause of the incident was the illegal bioweapon experiments being carried out in the secret umbrella lab beneath the mansion. The T-Virus being used in these experiments escaped the facility and is presumed to be the root cause of all that occurred. However, all evidence was destroyed along with the mansion, so further investigation has proven to be extremely difficult. Yep. Is that Jill in the front row? Yes, sir. And it's the way she used to look. That's her from, uh, from the original Resident Evil. Okay, I like how they kept that in there. I'm glad they didn't, like, update the picture. I'm glad they kept that. That's a nice little throwback. That is a nice little throwback. So you're not finished yet. So there obviously either must be something I'm missing or I have to walk out of the door. Yo, I just had to walk to the door. Derail. Was anyone hurt? Oh, Hell? oh, that's when he, when he finds out what happened. Shit. Wait, what? Yeah, Nikolai. Jill, Jill, what happened? Yeah, Ni Jill, come in. Nikolai. T, I gotta go. Do what you gotta. I'll take care of Bard. 4.43 a.m., Star's office. Oh, shit. We gotta go rescue Jill. Or are we gonna be playing as Jill now? Hunting down Nikolai. Oh, please let me shoot Nikolai in the face. Several minutes earlier, subway tunnels. I mean, please let me shoot Nikolai. I have a grenade launcher. One and done. Just let me shoot him. Damn, Joe, you have been through hell and back. Ooh, find a way above ground. How's the mandatory looking? Bear. Am I the only one who made it? Oh. You did so much. Only for literally none of those survivors to make it. Ah, uh, the familiar tune. Carlos, come in. Of a room. Carlos. Damn it! I guess I'm out of range. Are those acid rounds? Interesting. I still have yet to use the acid rounds. As a matter of fact. I have yet to see any acid rounds. New weaponry notice. Good news, limp dicks. I've got some new weaponry for you that's guaranteed to put the brass back in your sacks. They're called MINE rounds. These babies were developed by Umbrella's military R&D and they will light your fires even hotter than the lover you left back home. They're tough to find and tricky to handle, but trust me, they're worth it. All right, let's take a look at the specs. Mine rounds are designed for standard issue grenade launchers. Don't get cute and try to load them in anything else. Fire them at walls or the ground and they'll stay right where you put them. The sensor in the mine will detect approaching enemies and detonate when they get within range. So basically, just toss them in the enemy's path and you got yourself a landmine. There's no such thing as unfair when you're taking on those giant freaks. So get out there and fight dirty. Well, all right then. Giving me first aid spray too. You loading me up. What's out there? What what giant freaks we talking about here? We talking about more of those uh those gammas? All right, I'm gonna keep this at the ready, just in case. 
We'll see what giant freaks you talking about. Um. <laughs> Don't be doing that, man. Dang. All of y'all just literally just wanted to just come out at, the, at one time. Sit down. Ooh, sit it down. Dead. And. Nope, not dead yet. <laughs> I was thinking I could get away with just stabbing her over and over, but uh, clearly that doesn't work that well. Where did you roll from, mind you? Where did you literally roll from? Hey, one of you. There we go. I am damn near out of I'm damn near out of everything. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Didn't need to waste that second shot. I was, I didn't ex- Dogs are barking. All right, well, I went out to check and see what the dogs were barking at. Apparently, uh, the uh, people to play Dungeons and Dragons showed up a little earlier than expected, but it's okay. I recorded for a good minute, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to call this episode here. I appreciate all of you for watching. Like and subscribe for more, for I will continue to make these videos for Mini Moons. Stay safe out there, and never forget to holla at your bear. Peace out.